Hey guys, this is Pam Perry in North Carolina. I do hair and makeup and I do some hobby photography. So today I'm going to show you a Halloween tutorial makeover. Many of you will be curious to know what kind of makeup I use. I use everything from Coastal Scents to Yves Saint Laurent to MAC to Tem2, Tem2 Pro. A variety of choices. My makeup brushes, I keep about 40 to 50 brushes on hand and I also do airbrush makeup and you'll see that in the future. My model today is Kristen and she's going to be a bridal witchy poo kind of creeper for Halloween. And we're going to do a little um, pink and blacks and purple and you'll see some contouring coming up and some groovy eyelashes. Keep watching. Got a little MAC black track fluid line with an angle brush coming on the full lid underneath a little bit and a little bit of contouring. You'll see me trying to blend it out a little bit. Um, fluid line gets a little unworkable after a few seconds so get it where you want and blend it in. If any of you are curious, I've been doing hair and makeup for about 18 years now. Uh, pretty soon we're going to be doing a little beauty school education. I just wanted to share some of my techniques and tricks with anyone who's interested in doing hair and makeup and for models or just basic makeup application for wedding or just beauty shots. If any of you are curious, I have some duo glue in black on my hand and I run the eyelash through the glue. Give it about 30 seconds to get tacky and then begin to apply. These eyelashes are huge and since it's a strip lash, it doesn't really have that much bend to it. So I, I am actually putting it on the more of the outer corner of the eye. Since it is Halloween, we're going to go a little lighter than her natural color. We're going to go a lot heavier. I also do makeup for photography, so whenever you see me doing makeup that's a little heavy like this, it's because I do realize that the lights are going to wash out the foundation color. But we're going to go ahead and get it on pretty heavy here for her because she's going to be a Halloween witchy blue bride. 
The makeup I'm using is Graftopian. It's a palette. It's wonderful makeup, and I get it from Camera Ready Cosmetics. I have a little HD powder from Makeup Forever just in the um, whitish color. Doing a little contouring with some cream color base by MAC. It's in a reddish kind of purplish color. Just using a sponge makes my life easier. Just grabbed it. Hopefully you'll catch them doing a little contouring around the nose, bridge of the nose, front of the nose, coming in through the chin around through the cheek to make her look a little bit more defined and angled. Again, this is for Halloween makeup, so it's purplish, reddish. I'm just having fun filling in all those contouring places. Come back in a minute and use a little cream color base from MAC and a lighter pink just to do a little highlighting, which hopefully the camera will pick up. For your places of contouring, you're going to want areas that recess and look a little deeper and darker. So you're going to go through the bridge of the nose, come through the hollows of the cheek, which is going to tend to be when you make fishy face and you make a fishy face wherever in dents. You don't usually want to go past that for average beauty makeup. But again, this is Halloween makeup, so we're really laying it on pretty heavy. So when she sees the kids, she scares the daylights out of them. Getting ready to put some lipstick on. I depot all of my lipsticks if at all possible and I put them in containers that look similar to pill boxes so each place can open up. I always use a lip brush if I can and I have smaller lip brushes that can fit into lip gloss containers so that I don't I don't depot those. And so now I'm just putting on a little purplish lipstick and then I'm going to overlay it with some super duper hot pink gloss just to give it that purplish pinkish look that we're looking for for this Halloween look. I keep my dirty brushes or used brushes in a container that has rice in it so all my brushes stand upright while I'm in the studio. Getting ready to finish up the lip gloss overlay. Just a little NYX hot pink. We're going to get ready to put some mascara on. I use a brush that you can get from the MAC counter, but this one that you're going to see is from the paint store, craft store. We're going to put it on the lower lashes only. And then this is our completed Halloween look. Maybe we'll get pictures up in the future. You can check out my website, panperryhair.com. Bye.